thanks everyone for coming. Um, I want to start with talking about something I'm really passionate about. I was uh, I was raised in Southern California, lived there most of my life, and I've always had a huge passion for really good, authentic Mexican food. There'd be little places right by the beach. We'd go there all the time um, my, with my family and my friends. So it seems like I always had that one specific little taco joint that I'd go to get that fix if I was in the mood for some really good Mexican food. So I am excited uh, to be working with Taco El Loco to help increase business a little bit. Taco El Loco is definitely one of those fantastic Mexican food places that just delivers amazing quality food. Unfortunately, they're struggling with a few areas of business and I've uh, been able to do some research and really develop a few ideas that are really gonna help increase their business. So advertising is an area of business that a lot of people kind of look past. They feel it's something you can do when you have a little more money. Um, if, if you've got a bigger budget, it's definitely something to do. A lot of people think it's not really worth spending your money. A lot of people don't realize that advertising you can spend pretty much as little or as much as you as you like, as much as you can. So if you've got any sort of budget, you can you can do advertising. I actually worked on a campaign for a similar business. It was a barbecue place down in Idaho Falls, downtown. And they're kind of very similar boat as Taco El Loco. Very good quality food, very little awareness. And that's where advertising came in. We were able to do some great things to really help increase business. So the things I really want to focus on and the things I hope we can understand throughout this presentation is as effective, well-placed advertising is implemented, it can help increase awareness, increase customer loyalty, and open catering opportunities. Now those are three things we, we kind of discussed earlier as we met. And those are three things I really hope we can understand because advertising can, when it's done right, help businesses dramatically improve. So let's talk about the location. Taco El Loco is located in a great place. It's in a little, it's in a gas station. It's right where people go to pump gas. It's right next to Hillcrest High School. So a lot of people, a lot of students go there in the mornings. They'll go and they'll get that early breakfast burrito before school. They'll go there during lunch and grab some tacos. It's like in a great spot. However, there is some competition nearby. There are obviously numerous little authentic Mexican food places throughout Idaho Falls. But the main two that are your biggest competitors are Cafe Rio, which is located about a mile down the road. They're a little closer to, uh, to the mall. Uh, the Cocoa Bean, you know, Red Robin, those areas. So they kind of they get more people down there. But your biggest competitor is right in your parking lot, and that's Sweeto Burrito. Sweeto Burrito is a little taco bus, a little taco truck, whatever you want to call it. They've been in business for about a year and a half, and they are doing very, very well. Their bus is essentially a giant billboard. It's pushed very close to the street. It's right in the corner of 17th and Sunnyside, right where you guys are. It's in the parking lot, as you guys are aware. And although they do not offer the quality, authentic Mexican food, it's a lot more kind of Americanized, more, I don't know, you know, post postmodernism. It's not nearly as authentic or tasty, but they have a great, essentially, advertising. It's a great kind of billboard, that's what they have going. It's great colors, really appealing, and they're getting a lot of students and they're kind of breaking into your, your target audience, the people that those customers that we want to be loyal, frequent, people to to go to your business for catering are kind of leaning more towards Sweeto Burrito because of the location and because of their advertising. So the main areas of advertising I'd like to focus on are social media and online presence as well as some print advertising. Really basic. These are typically areas of advertising people don't really focus on social media and online. But Google Plus and Facebook are probably the two biggest social media outlets you guys should be involved in. Facebook is obviously super popular. A lot of people use Facebook. I'm aware you guys have a Facebook. Google Plus is massive. If you want bigger Google hits on searches, need a Google Plus. 
I think Business Today had an article and they said if businesses don't have a Google Plus page, they eventually will fail in today's market. I strongly believe that and I've seen businesses struggle greatly because of their inability and their inactiveness on, on social media. So Google Plus is huge. Google is kind of setting the tone. They're the second most profitable business in the world. They really have everything kind of integrated. Something I'd like to do also is to do a Google AdWords campaign. So when you do a Google search for taco or Mexican food, a couple things will come up. Google AdWords is pretty much competing in there. You can compete. We can put keywords for Taco El Loco, authentic Mexican food, tacos, burritos, horchata, churros, whatever we want. You pick those keywords and you essentially bid on them. You pay a price and that those those keywords allow your business to pop up when a Google search is conducted. So so along with Google Plus, Google AdWords and Facebook, as those are all integrated, that will also help. Um, that will also help your Google searches. And it's really important if you want to break into the catering business to maintain that social media presence as strong as we can. So here's your Facebook page. It is good. It could use a lot more work though. Statistics show that posting around 1 to 3 p.m. every day are the times most people view and interact on Facebook. Unfortunately, your last post was early March. It's already almost April. So Facebook needs to be post daily. And that's something I can totally help you guys with, something I'm very familiar with, and something I've, I've helped companies be successful in the past. So your website is also something similar. Great, great website could be a lot better. On a website, we really want a little more detail. Where you started, why you're, why you're creating the food you do, why you're passionate, maybe how you came to, to know the recipes and so forth. Your, your website right now is essentially a screenshot, which is good. But like I said, it could be a lot better. You could have a lot more promotions, deals, links to your social media, and so forth. So kind of going into the print side of advertising. As you do a bigger printed banner, it can really help your business. I've discussed this with the, the gas station you're currently in as well as the building across the street and they're both completely fine with allowing you to do a printed banner on the side of the building. And you can usually do these for about 50 to $75 for about a 30 plus foot banner. Be really big or we can even do a smaller 12 by 12, 6 by 12, whatever we want to do. But a printed banner on the side of the building is definitely going to help you with Sweeto Burrito. Like we pointed out, they're essentially just a huge billboard, so it's very hard to miss them. And you guys kind of get missed because of their location, because of the, the venue they choose. You are inside the gas station, so you do have a tangible location with seats and, and a, there's a little more room. They essentially have a little picnic table, so you can use that to your advantage if we can draw people into the store a little more. You're probably thinking, well, how much is this all going to cost? The Google AdWords seems like that could be pretty pricey, as well with a printed banner and printed flyers, perhaps. The cost is actually really flexible. The main price is going to be the Google AdWords and your print advertising. So your print, like I said, can be around $50 plus dollars, as much or little as you want to spend. And Google AdWords typically starts around $20 or more a month. So it's very flexible. You can put as much or as little as you'd like into this. Probably be around $100 is minimum. And we can discuss more about that later. So essentially, right now, Taco El Loco is pretty much a grain of sand lost in, in the rest of the sand on the shores of the beach. It's really hard for you guys to be spotted. There's so many other Mexican food places. I mean, what's we, got, we keep thinking, well, what if, what if I don't do any advertising? What if this doesn't work? I'll tell you, if you look at it both sides, if you don't do any advertising, your business eventually will fail. You will not be able to keep up with the fast-paced social media presence that other companies are utilizing. And you ultimately will not be able to break into the catering business without maintaining advertising in that area as well. So as you implement these, as you, as we effectively placed well-placed advertisements as we maintain strong social media presence it will increase customer awareness it will gain more customer loyalty and we will be able 
to opening more catering opportunities. And you'll be more spotted. People will see you, they'll refer you. Word of mouth, people talking is one of the biggest forms of referrals of people going to your business, very popular. And social media, this online presence, Facebook and the printed advertising is really going to help increase that. So you have to sum it up. I'm confident in your business. Feel like you have a great product. Feel like there's some great areas where we can work on. Increasing awareness, customer loyalty, and opening catering opportunities are something I absolutely can help you guys with if we do effective, well-placed advertising. I want to end with this quote by Henry Ford. He said, a man who stops advertising to save money is like a man who stops a clock to save time. Essentially, we need advertising. It's really what makes the world go round, and it really will help increase your business. Thank you so much.